Hey guys, uh, so we've always had a home gym since we moved into this house, um, but we never really committed to using it regularly, and um, we really only would use it on days uh, when we couldn't get to the gym due to schedule um, issues or because it was a holiday and the, and the gym was closed. Um, so recently, we decided that we wanted to start using our home gym regularly, and so we put a bit of work into... Um, making it into a space that we would really enjoy working out in so that we would start using it every day instead of going to the actual gym. Um, I've had a lot of comments on my Instagram from people saying how great my home gym looks. So I decided to make a how-to video um, for making a home gym on a budget. First, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of my home gym and show you the equipment that I have going on in there and kind of how I've got it organized and how I have it put together. And then I'm going to give you guys some tips for creating your own home gym without spending a ton of money. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna take you guys on a little tour of my home gym right now um, so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, there's my two dogs and that's where they always watch me every time I come in here. So I will probably open this so they can come in so they don't go crazy. All right, so here is just a set of uh, regular dumbbells. Um, I don't have many yet. I'd actually like to add some heavier ones, but as of right now, this set goes up to 25, and then I have this set that goes up to 30. Um, then over here, I just have all my extra stuff, um, like medicine balls and my uh, slingshot there, some of our shoes, some of our resistant bands, stuff like that. Um, over here, this is probably the most important piece of equipment uh, when you're putting together your home gym. It's a squat rack. You can do like pretty much everything in here. There's uh, some handles up there for different variations of pull-ups. Uh, you've got the rack for squatting or benching. Um, and then we've got one of my barbells in here. I've got a few extras over there too. Um, but as long as you have one good one to start, it's good. Got our plates there. Some more plates over there. Um, and then we've got a bench here. Um, this bench um, is pretty good because it can go into a decline and an incline and it can hold up to um, 800 pounds. There's some benches that are cheap um, that'll only hold up to 300. And if, if you're benching a bit, then that's not really great. We got some chains up there, which are just to look cool. No, I'm just kidding. Um, add those onto like bench and squat and stuff like that. Um, so that's probably the stuff that I would consider essential. And then once you've been building up your gym for a while, if you want to add some more um, some more stuff and you have some extra money, then we've got over on this end what I would consider the extra stuff. So here's just uh, an actual machine for dips. And we've got a rowing machine right here. It's got different handles. You can do like a bunch of different variations on there. Um, we added a resistance band to it so you don't have to add as much plated weight. Then over here, um, this is a glute ham raise machine, but it was actually modified so you can do, um, just step over here. You can do reverse hypers here with this attachment as well. Then over here, uh, this is a hack squat machine, but um, all you have to do is shift this piece of wood and it actually turns into a leg press as well. So that's a pretty cool machine to get a lot of different leg stuff done. And that's where some of my extra plates were hiding. And then over here, this can be used for leg extensions or leg curls. Again, there's some extra plates hiding on there. And then this is just your typical cable machine, so you can do all kinds of back stuff, lat pull downs, uh, tricep stuff, tricep extensions, pretty much anything you can do on one of these guys at the gym, you can do on here. And then over here is the only piece of cardio equipment in our gym. We got a little uh, treadmill over here. It's all <laughs> um, bungee corded up so that it doesn't take too much space. Um, and then here is some of our extra bars. Um, we've got a few extra normal barbells in here and then we've got some more specialty type deals for like some strongman training and here is my brand new log which I'm very excited to start using for my strongman training 
And then over here, just some extra attachments for the cable crossover machine. Yep, so that is my gym. Oh, and over here we've got the spotlights. So step one for building your home gym is to choose a space. So you don't need a ton of space to create your home gym. You guys saw mine is in a smaller area of the house. It's not, it's not huge by any means. Um, so work with what you have in your house, whether that be an extra room or like we have like in a little extension or a garage, anything that you can um, use that you have some space is, is you're going to be able to make it work. Um, we chose our space because it's kind of isolated from the rest of the house and it has crappy floors. So we didn't have to worry about ruining the floors. Um, so once you find a space that you want to use for your home gym, uh, the next step is to make it as comfortable as possible. So cover the walls with posters or whatever will inspire you during your workouts. Um, add fans and mirrors. Um, if, if the room tends to get hot and you're gonna wanna keep it um, at a nice temperature to work out in. Um, mirrors, if you're used to having those at a regular gym and they help keep you motivated, um, those are a great way to add to the gym feel of your space. Um, things like speakers to blast your music while you're working out, um, they're pretty inexpensive, but they'll go a long way towards keeping you motivated while you lift and make your home gym as enjoyable as possible of a space for you. So take some time to think about the type of feel that you want your home gym to have and then use any resources that you have in order to make that happen. And none of this has to cost a lot of money. Most importantly, if you're going to be deadlifting in your home gym, and I seriously hope that you are, if you're watching my channel, I hope that you plan on deadlifting, um, invest in some decent mats for deadlifting so that you do not destroy the floors in whatever room you end up deciding to make your home gym in. So we actually found our deadlift mats at a farm supply store and they're actually barn mats and they were very very inexpensive and they are perfect for deadlifting on so something like that is a great idea for this so once you have chosen your space it's time to start gathering equipment i would suggest starting with the basics and then adding any extra equipment that you want um, so that you can take your time looking for this extra equipment, um, looking for deals on it, while still being able to get in a great home workout at the same time. So in my opinion, the basics that everyone should have in their home gym in order to perform a good strength program are a set of dumbbells, an Olympic barbell, plates, and the amount of plates that you need will depend on how much you're lifting, um, a good power rack with a pull-up bar, an adjustable bench, and gym mats for deadlifts. Once you have these things, you'll be able to get in a great home workout um, and anything else that you decide to add will just be extra. This is where things can get um, pretty pricey if you're not smart about it. So the biggest tip that I can give you when it comes to building a home gym and making it affordable is not to pay full, uh, full price for anything. Um, the first place that we always look for gym equipment is Kijiji or Craigslist. I can't even begin to tell you the kinds of deals we found by doing this. Um, often when someone has lifted or listed gym equipment on one of these sites, that gym equipment has actually become like a coat rack in their basement and has literally not been used in years and it's essentially just taking up space. So oftentimes um, these people just want the equipment gone from taking up space in their home and they're practically giving it away. Um, after you've tried this, if you can't find something that you're looking for, um, wait for it to go on sale. And um, there's often really good sales at fitness stores right after Christmas. So this is a great time to look for anything that you've already tried to look for used and weren't able to find. So now that you've put together the equipment must-haves for your home gym, um, the last step is to actually use it. Um, so there's nothing worse than putting the time, effort, and money into building a great home gym space and then failing to use it. So get in there, make it happen. Um, eventually it'll become a habit and you'll be so used to working out in your home gym and you'll just love all the, all the pros that there are to it that you won't even ever want to drive to a regular commercial gym again. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed taking a look at my home gym. Um, if you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thanks, guys. Bye.